Here inside a.txt we can see there is a and inside b.txt there is b. So let's take a scenario where we want to change the content of a and b.txt file but we don't want to change the content of rest of the file inside the testing directory. So let's see how we can achieve that. So go to the PowerShell command prompt and type the command set content. Now we have to give the path, give the path of the testing directory and inside the testing directory you have to include all the files. So use asterisk. Now you have to filter only the txt files. So we can take help of filter parameter that's there inside the set content. So we can see the filter parameter here. So type filter and we will filter based upon the extension dot txt. Okay. And let's give the value. Let's say empty. Okay. This command here set the content of all txt file inside the testing directory to be empty. So let's verify. Let's go to the testing directory and let's see a.txt. It has been changed to empty and let's go to b.txt and it has been changed to empty.